to find it. Uh, if you had some hard copy paper, would it be easier for you, Sam? No, not really. Because <laughs> I'd have to be going to get it to it. But there was, when I was reading this earlier today, there is a there is some language in here that talks about the it must in order to be by the planning commission that substantially all of the criteria are met and our document does not say that. So I believe there was a typo in it. Pardon me? I believe there was a typo in it and they and substantially, substantially was added. added. That's the one in the packet didn't have the word substantially. The one in our packet did not have right. that. Right. That's the that thing she gave us right before the meeting. Right. Oh, well, I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> this one with the highlighting on it. <laughs> Okay. okay. Now we got three copies. Okay. Okay. I didn't either, Sam. All right. I wouldn't have known. I did. Very okay. good. See, I tried, I tried to use it on there. <laughs> 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 Any other questions? Uh, Roll call, please. Howie Harris? Yes. Penny Moves? Yes. Samuel Moore? Yes. Tom Palmer? Yes. Kathy Phillips? Yes. Mm -hmm. The next. Next item is approving the dates for our budget workshops, which are scheduled at this time for May 11th and May 12th, beginning at 6.30, ending by 10 p.m. I would encourage everyone to attend the budget workshops. They would start one week from today. Your Honor, I move the city manager's proposed combined city budgets for the 2010-2011 fiscal year be received and filed and budget workshops be established for Tuesday, May 11th, 6.30 p.m. City Hall Community Center and Wednesday, May 12th, 6.30 p.m. City Hall Community Center. Support. I do have a brief presentation that I'll try not I to bore it. everyone with. <laughs> <laughs> of the I budget. Do You'll do fine, Of the proposed Mark. budget. I did shorten it substantially, so. Can you do roll call? I'll run through that. Roll call first. Oh, no, he can do it. Do it you want to do it on two? You can vote first if you like, but I'll leave that up to you. Hopefully this won't change the vote. <laughs> <laughs> you are still going to have workshops, I hope. You want to do the roll call now or you want to wait? Uh, we are, um, we yeah, let's do a roll call. Penny Loops. Yes. Samuel Moore. Yes. Tom Palmer. Yes. Kathy Phillips. Yes. Howie Harris. Yes. All right, this is uh, just a statement that the budget is a statement of council policy uh, and the workshops provide the opportunity for council and the administration to collaborate for the betterment of our community and the council prioritizes implements the goal through the spending authorizations. Uh, some of the issues we're facing right now with the uncertain financial environment is taxable values have dropped to the same level as assessed in 2004 and in fact I was going through old budgets and our proposed revenue in the 10-11 budget is less than our proposed revenue in the 99-2000 budget so we've lost a lot of revenue. Uh, loss of tax revenues have caused in this proposed budget wage freezes, uh, some service cuts, changes to our health care again and it could lead to future cuts and layoffs. Uh, the debt millages uh, or the rates will rise in order to meet the debt principal and interest payments because of the loss in taxable value. So it will offset some of the drop in taxes. <coughs> some of the revenue changes have happened since 2000. Uh, the anticipated property tax revenue for 1011 will be down over 650000 from the 0809 revenue from two years ago. Um, this includes the 2003 referendum, two mil. Uh, election that was approved um, has been reduced by Headley since adopted. It also represents the revenue decrease of 10% from the 0809 revenues of $741,600. So over the last two years we've lost about 10% of our revenues. Um, the continued reduction of statutory state shared revenue uh, since the state started dwindling and taking that away in 2000 uh, has been over $3 million since that date that we've lost in statutory state shared revenues and some constitutional as well. And then of course our interest income is way down because of our 
bank rates. That and we have less money in the bank. Uh, reduction, some of the consequences of our revenue losses are the fact that we've had a reduction of full-time and part-time personnel through attrition and through some service changes. Uh, we've contracted local dispatch, jail, and animal control services. In fact, we're still working on animal control because we are not sure at this point whether Troy will provide that service because uh, they're making drastic cuts. Um, personnel reductions result in reduced services and decreased public safety. Uh, increased in deferred maintenance, public streets, infrastructure, and public buildings. We have stretched that to uh, roughly 21.75 million once we do the final issue uh, to over 25 million thanks to grants and other things we've been able to get uh, over the last three or four years. Uh, reduction in surplus fund balance to subsidize city operations to prevent further service cuts and then uh, requests to adjust current union contracts to freeze wages and adjust benefits to decrease costs. And we're currently in uh, talks with all three of our unions uh, to do just that. I will be doing a presentation this week similar to this to the unions uh, to show them exactly where we're at. Uh, some of the proposed changes for the 10-11 budget. The MERS defined benefit costs for the retirees and active employees are increasing nearly $200,000 because the plan itself is closed to new hires, which creates a decrease in our, in our uh, formula. So we, they want us to accelerate the funding of that plan quicker. Um, we will be sending uh, a Thank letter to MERS point. asking that they freeze no. us for a while due to the financial conditions we're in. Uh, we also had changes to health care that will result in about a savings of $75,000. Uh, wage freezes, which are contrary to the contract language, which we'll be talking about, uh, would have provided a 3% wage increase for all union personnel. Uh, we'll save about $100,000 when you include benefits in that as well. Uh, the t we're temporarily utilizing statutory state shared revenue for a year to help the general fund budget. Uh, as you know, in the past, we eliminated that and we were using that for our capital reserve, which is now uh, uh, extremely low and we're going to put capital on freeze. Uh, unreserved fund balance to subsidize the general fund expenditures uh, proposed is $266,355 and that figure started around 850000 so we have made some, some substantial reductions in the budget itself. And then we've also, as I mentioned, minimal capital acquisitions pr proposed for the fiscal year. And you'll see those. They're, uh, I believe they're less than 50000 is what's proposed from the capital reserve. Uh, this is just a breakdown by category in revenues. The de decreases from last fiscal year to this fiscal year. Uh, property taxes, over half a million. We lost in licenses and permits. Intergovernmental revenues. Uh, we did have a slight bump in charges for services, um, fines and forfeitures, interest and rents, other revenues and transfers are all going to be down from the prior year. And the total revenue decrease will be nearly $750,000, which represents about a 10% drop. And then this is our expenditure summary for the upcoming year. We had a reduction in personnel and benefits costs of about 175000 We had increases in our retiree health care costs and our retiree pension costs. Um, some of the reason the retiree pension cost there isn't the full 198000 is because that's spread amongst other funds. Um, but you can see we reduced contracted services, operating costs and services, transfers, contingency, and then that's that that state shared revenue, the statutory portion, which we put in an, uh, as an unbudgeted reserve, which is dropping to below 200000 in the upcoming year, is, is that's, that's until the state cuts it again, because they will. And that represented about a 10% decrease as well. And the reason that figure is 479 is because of the unbudgeted state shared revenue. So that's just kind of a brief. I encourage everyone as well to join us at our workshops. Um, these next two year budgets will not be pleasant, but we're all aware of what we need to do. So. Mark, can you do us a favor and send us that PowerPoint? Sure, absolutely. Thank you. And uh, I'll see it. It's on the old version of, uh, of uh, Microsoft.